Day Shift is a fast-paced horror action comedy movie, reminding me of movies like Blade and John Wick, but also lesser-known horror comedy movies like Shaun of the Dead. The movie is action-packed and scary at times, but also has a comedic overtone that's typical for movies in this genre. Bud is a pool cleaner by day, as it appears, but soon you will realize that's just a front for his real job, hunting and killing vampires. Bud is collecting vampire teeth after hunting and killing them. This risky and low-paying job has complicated Bud's relationship with his ex-wife and 10-year-old daughter. On one side, he's trying to lower the risk of putting his life and his family's life in danger. On the other hand, he knows he might be losing his 10-year-old daughter and his ex-wife even more because of his financial problems. Without spoiling anything, the main villainess of Day Shift is also on a hunt and this triggers a chain of action-paced events that I haven't seen since Blade and John Wick. This highly risky job doesn't pay enough and he wants to rejoin the union. The union is an organization that pays double or even four times as much for the same vampire team. Bud used to work for the union but was fired because of breaking various laws. He wants to rejoin the union but has to hunt the vampires according to the law of the union. And this is how we are introduced to two of the coolest characters in the movie. One is Big John, played by the man that needs no introduction, Snoop Dogg, a legendary vampire hunter and a good friend of Bud. Big John helps Bud coming back to the Union, but he has to be accompanied by Seth, played by Dave Franco. He's a Union representative that has to accompany Bud at all times, watching him and paying attention while hunting the vampires, watching his every move. And Seth is also another great character in the movie, he's funny and really likable. The cast is likable in general and does a great job with this movie, balancing a comedy movie with an action-paced vampire movie. Let's be honest, this movie isn't going to blow your mind away, but it works. It's funny, it's scary at times, and the chemistry of the characters is good. I also love the soundtrack and some of the throwback beats of the 90s. 90s hip-hop was the best. Who can hate that? Overall, I give this movie a 7 out of 10. It's a different take on the vampire genre, which has become repetitive and uninspiring. This movie is mixed with Shaun of the Dead type comedy, with the action of John Wick and vampire horror scenes of Blade. So go grab some popcorn, buy it, rent it, or watch it on your favorite movie streaming app. Thanks for watching this review and I'll see you in the next video.